I trust you've made up your mind. Yes. I imagine Van will be contacting me with our answer soon. Excellent. Where you'll be going for your educational visitation is also decided then? <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? Just how much does he... Does Dad know? Not just in general, but about the Blacklight District, too. Reports are regularly given to him on pertinent developments, and I have every reason to believe he reads them. As for the place you reference, <laughs> I will refrain from commenting there. Everything is being done with Dad's approval, isn't it? That place is meant to serve as somewhere the overly ripened juices from the fruit of our unprecedented prosperity can pool and gel. A place where the malice and desires of a certain subset of the population can be isolated and effectively controlled. You truly are sharp. And from more than the influence of your new job. There is no resisting blood, I see. Perhaps you might even consider following the path of the McDowell family's young scion. <sighs> Excuse me. Good night. Yes, my goodness. Do you realize how close you are to breaking curfew? I'm so sorry for being late. <laughs> Perhaps I pushed her a little far. It's a bad habit I have when it comes to Elaine, too. Even if I'd still like to believe I'm better than he is. We won't be able to count on the guild this time. Hmm. I'll need another play. He really is a crafty one. But I suppose this is just a message from Adios, telling me to see what's going on for myself. I'll also have to take charge of the younger students. <laughs> this is going to be busier than a simple tea party. Well, you're early. All ready to head out?
We'll see you again in Basel, Agnes. Race you there. Right! Travel safely, everyone. The long-distance passenger train to Basel, Provence de Auge, will soon be departing. Passengers en route to Alter or Crossbell will be transferring at Mart. She noticed me. No doubt about it. Former enforcer of the Society and the adopted daughter of the Liberalian Royal Army's commander. Her presence in the Republic clearly isn't a coincidence. Neither the Division Chief nor Kincaid have any idea what the current administration is up to. Regardless, I will fulfill my duty and see that his ideals are not in vain.
But try to sniff around for signs of trouble while we're there, right? Miss Perfect's things shown when we were talking about the place. We already know there's trouble going in. We will be on the lookout for anything we can glean regarding the many major ongoing projects in the city. As well as ready to sniff out any significant groups and organizations that may be at work. Right. Together with Unyes, too. Really, I like hearing how you got to know him. He must have been so kind to you back then, huh? How did you know? Well, because you introduced me to him. You're always looking out for us, Ren. So I know you would never steer any of us in the direction of someone you didn't truly trust. Well, okay, you got me there. He was very kind, yeah. The one who gave me the push to go from being Kitty to who I am today. He had just started out as a Spriggan, and he wasn't the most sensitive or competent. But he stayed with me, struggled with me, and showed me a path to the people I love most in this world. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> I guess Van's always been Van. So after you met him, you were able to reunite with your loved ones? That's right. And they're why I'm here now. They're the ones who encouraged me to study abroad. So it's thanks to them that I was able to meet all of you. 
and through some twist of fate, I accepted the position of student council president and am now heading up this little trip. You really never know where fate will take you. Tell me about it. Does he still obsess over sweets, by the way? I also remember him going on and on about cars. Oh boy. If anything, he's an even bigger fiend about them than he was before. At least, according to someone who knows him much better than I do, he is. Ah, the resident A rank. Seems like they have quite the sordid relationship. Just what exactly is going on between them? <laughs> I know you've got to be curious. N not at all! <sighs> Though, I, um, might have a small idea. Crap! It'd be weird if we woke up now. Plus, I want to hear more of what Ren has to say. Kind of seems like Agnes needs a little boost from us, so we better do what we can to be there for her. <laughs> I still refuse to acknowledge that guy and his operation as legitimate. But since we're going to the same place, I'm happy to keep an eye on her as her friend. Our next stop is Basel, Provence de Auge, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all your belongings with you when disembarking the train. Oh! <laughs> Finally. We're getting close. Nice. That's the exit right there. This place! What a wild sight! On the left is New Town, off to the right is the Artisanal District. Yeah, and up top is the Basel Institute of Science. We're gonna be going around till we hit the parking lot in front of Vern HQ. Time for us to have a chat with the CEO.
This place is quite nice. Very calm and tranquil. I think plain's the word you're looking for. Would it kill them to glitz up the joint a little? Not everything's gotta be like Longport, kid. Anyway, let's have a chat with the receptionist lady. Arkwright Solutions, so you're the investigators that Elsheim hired. Putting their noses where they don't belong. Ah, it's nothing. Let me get straight to the point. Any concern is unfounded. We have everything under control. Yes, generally speaking. The maximum delay of 8.3% is down to 0.35% as of this morning. My name is Catrice Elysian. I'm an assistant at the Institute of Science. I have other business to attend to, so I can't always provide you with support. But should you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me. Contact information exchanged. Huh. That's an unusual hollow. Yes? Uh... Huh?
I, I, of course I don't! I'm a guy! I suppose you could say that. I'm actually 15, by the way. <sighs> but I guess it's fine. Sometimes people do get the wrong idea from afar. I see. So you're already getting a move on then. Aw, when 
was hoping we could hang out for a little bit, too. Sorry for deciding this on my own, you two. Nah, it's fine. We've got three whole days, right? And you'll be back come nighttime anyway. We'll be counting on one heck of a report. Just be careful, okay? Of course. Is this uh, perhaps related to... In any event, I don't mind. I just so happen to have business in the artisanal district, so it works out. I'll show you the way. Um. Agnes Clodel, I'm a first year at RMS Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Hmm? Well, well. Oh. Then I'm counting on you to lead the way, Mr. Salesian. Of course. Happily. Once we catch the Arrow Tram, we'll be at the Artisanal District in no time at all. By the way, you're older than me, aren't you? Mr. might be a little stiff. You can just call me Katra, if that's alright. You don't mind? <laughs> then Katra it is. Oh, but I'm only older than you by a year, so I don't want you to be too stiff with me either. Why don't we talk like we're old friends? Um, okay. I'll keep it casual then. I get the feeling you're always told to loosen up a little more. That's right. My friends never let me hear the end of it, but I can't help the way I talk. I know I'm repeating myself, but it really is a pleasure, Katra. Same to you. Now, uh, should we get going? <laughs> 